Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, Miss AK Kona here. <laughs> I am so excited for you. You made it to 2023. Yes, and we are yet together. Thanks for being in my corner. Um, I'm grateful to you guys. Um, I'm bringing this important message to all of us so that we can plan better in 2023. We don't just want to walk around and act as those who do not have plans and not intentional about who they are. And you know who you are, especially in Christ Jesus. Let's say a word of prayer even as we go into this year. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you for your faithfulness in our life. Thank you for being our help in ages past. And we have belief and faith because you are hope for years to come. Thank you, ancient of days, for what you're about to do today. Thank you because this world will set us on the right path, even as we go into 2023. And we pray that everything we plan or we aim to achieve will help us bring it to speedy manifestations. Thank you, our Father, for in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Yes. Um, there are five things that are important for us to look back and review. If you have not done that in December, this is a message for you that it is time. You need, it is very important for you to do it even before you jump into 2023 visions and goals. The things I'm going to mention are the things that you need to set time to do. Some are the things you need to take into consideration into consideration, writing out your goals for 2023. If they are not in your plans already, Please go back, review, and add them to your plan. Um, let's jump right into it. Number one, um, Thanksgiving. Um, it is important that you appreciate God, or we appreciate God because of God's presence. It is important that we appreciate God for how far He has kept us, for the things that we discussed with Him in and He has brought to pass. Oh, thank you, Father, for bringing bread to me. Thank you, Father, for stew. We don't want to say thank you, Father, for everything. Mm -mm. Because when we were requesting, we requested intentionally. And so we have to be intentional about our thanksgiving. And one of your bass songs says, It means thanksgiving is the food of our Lord. What am I saying in essence? You don't want to serve God anyhow. You know? You know that this is his food, so you have to be intentional about how you serve it. Oh, Father, I thank you for stew. Father, I thank you for bread. Father, I thank you for, you know, very intentional about your thanksgiving. Don't just come and say thank you, Father, for everything. That's not what we are talking about here. We are talking about intentional beings, talking to an intentional God. I pray God will guide us, even the ones that you don't remember, that the Lord will bring... Um, retentive memory so that you remember i know that you might be looking at 2022 and say what has god done for me don't forget the days that you were almost being disgraced in terms of payment or something of bills and all but it came true for you don't forget how you almost choked on that food and it came true for you the little things that you think that those things that you think are little are big and so you need to appreciate god for them number two review your progress what have you done in 2022 what were you planning to do you know so in reviewing your progress you need to go back to your goals for 2022 i liked and um, the ones that you have achieved the ones that are in progress and the ones that you have yet to touch that would um, get you started on what or where to begin from in 2023 in reviewing your goals don't forget to appreciate yourself whether it's 10 percent whether it's 20 percent or 50 percent i know some have done 50 some would have even done 150. regardless of what level or what stage your progress is you need to appreciate god not only appreciate god appreciate yourself because you are getting there no matter how slow or how fast it is you are getting there yes i don't want to say tell your neighbor you are getting there you are getting there i am telling you you are getting there. 
Number three is your body. How have you taken care of your body? What are the things you have done to yourself? Don't forget your body is the temple of the most high. And um, it's important to also check out the things that you've taken in, the ones that you have refused to take, and so many things. Just your general well-being for your health. You need to check yourself or for people that are in marriages don't forget that you owe your partner your body as you also do to God so it is important that you watch out for your body the things you allow to go into your body feeding what you eat how you move exercise you know because you owe somebody your body what you do to your body might affect it so it's garbage in garbage out <laughs> whatever you put in is what you get out so take care of your body it's very important to do so because of your partners because of your friends you know because of the people who care about you and of, above all because of god he has given you the body it is important for you to take care of it number four is your level of commitment um, to your career to your ministry how far have you gone? What are the things that you've done to help yourself? Where am I in this phase? You know, what do I want to do with my career? How far have I gone with it? You know, these are some of the areas that you need to check out going into 2023. It's finance. Ah. Finance is one important thing that we need to check you don't want to just keep chasing money chasing money chasing money and at the end of the day nothing to show for it mm -mm. Um, you need to be very intentional about your finances how am i spending saving our beads you know the important and unimportant things um you might not be any about the kind of relationship we keep. I bless God for the ones that I got in 2022, the one I had to let go. This 2023, um, you don't want to be found where you are not wanted. You don't want to be found where you are not wanted. You don't want to be trying to feel among where you are not needed or where you don't fit in important for you to know that your, the kind of relationship you have or you allow might end up affecting your total mood or your being or your your status per time so i'm not saying leave your friends and go for um you know other people but you need to check yourself this kind of friends whether you are being cut off or you are the one cutting off one thing has to give, someone has to make the decision. Be sure that you are also giving back to the friends that you have. Look at the, your, your list of friends. Are there ones that you are not being helpful to? You don't need to wait for them to cut you off. You can cut yourself. Very important. You can actually do that. You know? Are there friends that are not you are not available to? Are there friends that you are you are not giving your time to? And vice versa. You need to check. Do you think that this relationship is what you want? Do you think this relationship is important to you? What do you think you can do to make it better? If it's something you are willing to make better and the energy you will get afterwards will match it, by all means, stay there and work on it. If not, let it go. Let it go in the sense that there are other things that you need to focus on. There are other places that I'm sure that the vibe and the energy is matching 100%, maybe not 100, maybe 80%. I'm focusing more on relationship because I know that our relationship can last, take us to 100. I'm not joking, last year, I had a new set of people coming to my family, into our lives, and I can tell where we are today based on those people. 
So I'm telling you that relationships are very important, you know. Above all these that I've stated, watch out for yourself. I hope that you've gotten one or two things to work on in this 2023. And I pray that our heart desire will come to pass according to God's perfect will. Amen. Thank you very much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share this message with as many people that you feel need it. And also subscribe to my channel. I am grateful. See you in my next vlog. Bye guys. So it means that is food is the um, thanksgiving. It means thanksgiving is the food of our Lord. What am I saying in essence? What am I saying in essence? You don't want to serve God anyhow. What am I saying in essence? Don't forget how you you almost choked. Don't forget how you almost choked on.